Libra, hi. So this is going to be a reading for uh, July 4th through the 10th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Libra, what's going on? What's cracking lacking? <laughs> Let's see. Stuff is going on. Very pentacly energy around here. The overall energy for the reading, the page of pentacles. Uh, good one, not, not, not bad, you know, to, to take it easy at times, to, to be grounded, to go slow. Um, and it seems like that's where you're at in your energy. There's definitely an energy of, you know what, let's just take it one day at a time. Let's see what we can learn from it. You know, very open to actually absorbing and just kind of going with the flow. Um, in the recent past, the moon, the five of cups, the nine of cups. Okay. There seems to be something here attached to your past. Something that, um, something that you may have wanted to work on in terms of your healing. And I feel like it didn't quite, you couldn't quite place your finger on it. Like, I really, really want to attend to this. I want to go and learn this for myself because it's causing problems and I just really want to look into this and, and just start healing it. Um, I kind of get the sense that it wasn't the time, but you were really pushing into the direction of I need to heal this. I don't see it being healed necessarily. I still see it there, but definitely a focus, a shift of focus in a particular direction to heal. and. Um, maybe missing it at that time, but it, in the way I see it, it's like, I don't think it was a time for the situation to be healed as much as you wanted to, uh, cause I feel like you wanted to, to step into a more balanced place within yourself and whatever was there in that experience that you may have had and wanted to heal, um, it's kind of like a like white noise like it was always there and it's like okay what is this i need to heal it you know kind of bugging you um in the current situation the five of pentacles the ace of cups the ace of pentacles definitely a brand new beginning at play for you and you're stepping right in it there's there's a little bit of fear attached to you there but i don't see that stopping you you know stepping into this new chapter of your life basically which i feel like you're creating you know um Good energy here. In the uh, immediate future, the Eight of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands, the King of Pentacles. You're 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 growing in terms of creating your own stability, um, contributing to something there where I feel there's growth on your side. I don't know. Maybe you're um, growing at your job, or I don't know. There's definitely a sense of growth that's happening here. I kind of get a sense that you're you're standing in the way of that a little bit. There's your energy coming through saying, yeah, you know, but it's kind of scary. It's, yeah, I, I, I love this, I'm growing and it's happening and I'm creating more and more and more and I know what to do. And it's kind of intimidating though, you know? There's a little bit of you going in that direction. So let's clarify. Whoa. That flipped like half a deck. Hold on, Libra. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's see the Page of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Ace of Cups. So there's this Ace of Cups that's shown up in your current situation. There's a little bit of indecision attached to it. Uh, it almost feels like your heart is trying to guide you someplace and you're unsure. All right, so does my heart try to take me to the right or to the left here? Hmm. I don't 
know, well, let your heart speak, you know, in order for you to figure it out. Because there's definitely a, almost like a, you're being led someplace. And there's uncertainty in that. There's a little bit of, I'm not sure if I should trust my heart. Um, trust it. You, again, you're coming in with the page of pentacles here, which is telling me that whichever way you choose, it doesn't matter because you'll still learn from it. Um, you know. So, I don't know, I don't see a wrong way here necessarily. I just kind of see a, a little bit of a reminder to allow your heart to guide you through this, you know, um, as much as you can. Let's do the moon in the recent past. We strength card, the Hierophant, the Hermit. Yeah, I mean, this is a, a level of depth that you you have healed a lot. You're coming through with a lot of healing backing you up. So, of course, you would be like, okay, you know what? It's time for this to heal now. Um, sometimes, again, we're not necessarily ready or it's not the time for us to go in that direction. There's something more or something else that we need to, to heal to get to that. Um, but at this time, you're showing me deep healing and then there's something that you're missing almost there's something that it's like ah uh, can't place my finger on this you know kind of an energy attached to this whole in-depth healing because that's what happened there for you uh let's do the five of cups My, my. Page of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, the Four of Cups. Yeah, and then you fall into disappointment. Like, why? Why can't I get it? Why? What's wrong with me? Why am I not getting this one? Because you just don't. And again, just... Sometimes it's not the time, Libra. That's what maybe you need to understand and accept. You know, instead of getting pissed off at you that you didn't heal this then that you didn't do this then, then blah, 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 you know? Uh, instead of putting yourself down, sometimes it's not the time. Let's do the Nine of Cups in the recent past. Hold on. I'm watching some activity. have a bird feeder set up here and there's a chipmunk that's really close to it and I want to see if that chipmunk is gonna dare to go up the pole because I love them to death but if they go up there they're gonna empty out the, the feeder really really fast and they can chew on the ground there, yeah, like they're done, okay. There's some stuff dropping from the birds, so, you know, sharing is caring. Um, for the Nine of Cups, you get the Five of Pentacles, the Judgment card, the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, really deciding to... <sighs> to put... A lot of focus onto yourself here by the looks of it. There's definitely something happening here in your past where something um, was taken apart. I don't know if it was a, a relationship or, or something close to you. And that's what set you off on this path of healing. And then it resulted into a lot of self-care, self-love um, kind of an energy where you're deciding at the end of it all, I got to put myself first. And that's exactly what happened. And you did find emotional balance here. There's this pissed off kind of an energy that still sticks. This, oh, I wish I could heal more in that direction. Or I wish I could do more in that direction. I don't know. Um, let's do the five of pentacles. Oh, spinch. For the Five of Pentacles, you get the King of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords. You're, you're, you're overcoming your fears somehow. There's definitely, 
your king of pentacles is coming into play your growth your material growth is coming into play big time so something's happening where you're progressing a lot um in the 3d world when it comes to your own stability and it is looking like a slow progress kind of a situation it is it, it's not i mean the way you're moving about it is not slow the energy is slow where it's showing me okay you know there's progress here one day at a time kind of a thing and then physically you're moving like no tomorrow um but i kind of see that growth despite your fears you know fears of failure fears of whatever it is you got going on um which is great those fears are always going to be there you know so it's a matter of are we going to let that stop us or not and you're in the knot right now. Let's do the Ace of Cups. In your current situation, Six of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. There's this whole connection that's popping up here. This is this is coming in like a maybe. That's why you're so indecisive here when it comes to that uh, as the reading starts. Because I kind of see this as a potential possibility for a brand new beginning in love i get the sense that you kind of see it like that it has potential that's for sure and i mean it's making you feel good it's definitely giving you a sense of balance a sense of you know it's not taking you off course like you're not going crazy in your emotions you're also not um going down in your energy so it's kind of a smooth kind of hmm, maybe um i think it's more than a maybe there but Anyways, let's see the uh, Ace of Pentacles in your current situation, the King of Swords, the Chariot, the Seven of Wands. Huh? Uh -huh. Their way of approaching the situation, I feel like this is them, could be you. Uh, but someone is coming in strong. Someone is coming in like, you know, very, very determined. Um, very confident. And that shows up as being a little bit intimidating, a little bit, oh, oh, where'd you show up from? You know, kind of stay there, stay there, hold on, hold on, what, what's up, you know? It's coming in a little chop chop. I don't see it necessarily as a problem, it's a difference, a little bit of a difference in energies. Uh, for now, it's not showing up as a problem, it's showing up as someone kind of determined here that knows what they want. Um, let's do the Eight of Pentacles in the immediate future. The Five of Swords, the World card, the King of Cups. Uh, something you are putting effort into. Something that's close to your heart here by the looks of it and you're putting effort into. You're like, I'm done. I'm done in the sense of I'm not going to give to this because there's nothing more to give. You know, as if there's no more leveling it up. And... This energy comes in a little bit deceptive, as if, wait a minute, yeah, there is more. You know, there is the next level to this. Uh, but for some reason, you're showing me, no, there isn't, I'm done. You know, that's all I could give to this, and chop, chop. I don't know what that is, by the way. It's something you've been putting effort in, for sure. Uh, and you still are. Let's do the Nine of Wands. In the immediate future. Eight of Swords, Five of Wands, Knight of Wands. Um, there's a little side of you that may be passionate at times, especially when it comes to something that's quite important to you. And this again is tied up to a sense of stability for you. So it could be your job or uh, something you're working on that you feel very passionate about. Um, it might create problems here and there it might create conflict if it's too fiery too passionate there is such thing as too much <laughs> you know in our energy so um just as a future reference you know if you see yourself getting all riled up about something just because you're very passionate about it just so you know it might create conflict uh it's shown up here and it's coming more from a place of the mind rather than the heart so it's coming more from a place of frustration, but that fire is kind of taking over too. So it's it's looking a little messy if you let it get there. Um, so when you get up into your, into your head about things, try to take it a notch down, that roar, 
you know. Let's do the King of Pentacles in the immediate future, the Ten of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, the Six of Swords. You're showing me a sense of giving up. I don't know why you're in this place. Maybe you're switching paths. That could be... Because I don't see it as being a problem necessarily-ish. Five of Swords did show up there. Kind of almost like... You're doing something that you're very passionate about, let's say your job or something like that, or something tied up to that, and you're like, that's all there is to this, I gotta move on to something else that still speaks to my, my heart, but this, I've done all I could do in this, and I'm kind of stepping away from it. It does show up a little bit as being deceptive, as like, no, you know, there could be more. Um, but that's for you to determine, because I do see a sense of, I'm done here. And it's the second time that's shown up in your rating. It is tied up to your stability again. Um, again, it's not shown up as a bad, bad energy, like, oh my god, what am I doing? I'm ruining everything. Maybe there is a, a course direction somehow in there. Um, you're giving me a sense of at least halfway of knowing what you're doing here. It's kind of hard to pinpoint that one and see what's up, but this is something that you would know for sure if it relates to you. Um, let's see what the universe has to close out. Six of Pentacles, the Magician, the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, yeah, you're manifesting something quite good, something that works out, something that um, kind of picks it up where you, you're, you're leaving it from, again, a lot of pentacles, a lot of, most of this reading is tied up to your stability, not necessarily to something romantic here. It could be, I'm seeing it mostly tied up to what you're doing for yourself out there. Um, so in the background here, I see you manifesting good energy, you know, energy of equal give and take, energy that's making things work out basically. So. That's why I'm kind of getting a sense that you know what you're doing here. As you grow towards this, you might leave this here and head on to another direction and then go from there up, basically. I don't know. There seems to be a switch somewhere and I don't see it as bad necessarily. So that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time.